I hope this video helps since you're probably freaking out like I was. But please check out the playlist, Evidence for Christianity, Evidence for the Bible, End Times, and the Book of Revelation. I'll leave links in the description for all four. Enjoy. Got up this morning and look, it's hot in the house. Now what? Well, for some stupid reason, my air conditioner outside condenser fan here quit running. You can hear it humming. Oh, it feels hot. So here's all the specs for the outside unit. It's a Linux and there's the model number. So I'm gonna see if I can kickstart it by screwdriver here. And it's starting to move. There it goes. So I just bunked it with the screwdriver. All right, since, it, since I was able to kickstart it with the screwdriver, it's most likely a capacitor. All right, so I shut everything off. Go ahead and flip your breaker to off. And let's go ahead and see if we can get that capacitor replaced. Got my window AC unit set up until I get the repair done. It's supposed to get up to 106 degrees today, so it's a good thing I noticed the issue when I got up this morning. I'm using a quarter inch driver for the bolt screws on the outside unit. So now I'm gonna take this panel off. Right there's the capacitor. Before we go touch anything, make sure that the source voltage is completely gone. I'm gonna use my meter to test it. Got it on volts AC. Checking the hot side coming into it, and there's nothing. So now go ahead and take a picture of the way it's wired so you can remember that when you put the new one in. Uh, we'll have to take this this strap off here, unplug the wires. Now I want to go ahead and make sure it's uh, discharged completely, so I'm going to short out the capacitor. So we don't have any issues with uh, shocking. Looks like it's discharged. Alright, let's get that capacitor out of there. These wires are a bit tight to get off. It's not coming off of there. There we go. All right, so the red one went into the spot that has the four prongs. My yellow one went into the spot that had the three prongs, and the purple one went into the spot that has the two prong. So what you're going to be looking for when you get the new one is this 45 plus 5 microfarad right there. And then the voltage, which is 440 volt AC. Got my new part, made in USA. I got it from AACA Parts and Supplies here in Texas, local HVAC supply store. Luckily it sells to individuals. Some places they only sell to the contractors and licensed people. That's how much I pay for the capacitor. I'm gonna leave an Amazon link in the description for this part or an equivalent. This is the Titan HD PRCFD455A. I am an Amazon associate, so I do earn from any qualifying purchases when using my link. Let's get it installed. So before we install a new capacitor, I'm just going to crimp this down a little bit in order to make sure it gets a really snug fit. Don't crimp it down all the way, just a little bit. That way it makes a good connection on the capacitor, because if it doesn't, if it gets a loose connection, then it will get hot and burn up. So I'm not really compressing it down very far, just enough to give it a little extra snug fit because we may have loosened it up while um, removing it. This one I don't really know if I can do anything about. <laughs> yeah, I can get a little bit. All right, let's install the new one. So the four prong one had the red wire then the three prong one and the yellow make sure they're down all the way nice and tight two prong one 
had the purple. All right, set it back in. All right, it's in. Let's kick it on and try it. Please support my channel by leaving a super thanks, or you can join Ramit Hood through a link that I'll leave in the description, and we'll both get a free stock, or you can purchase the part that I leave in the description from Amazon, and I'll get a little commission. Continue watching. Go ahead and turn my breaker on. I just turned it on, and it sounds perfect, and it's running great. Got a good fix. Now that we know it works, go ahead and shut the breaker back off so we can put our panel back on. Alright, I'm going to run inside and turn it on. I forgot to switch my breaker back on. All right. Now I'm gonna run inside and turn it on. All right, working great. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. And if you wanna connect with me, I have a public group on MeWe called Share Your Trade. I'll leave a link of that in the description. Thanks for watching.